Now, a recent study has confirmed discomfort among Singaporeans arising from the growing pool of new immigrants in the country. The indicators of racial and religious harmony survey show Singaporeans are less comfortable with new citizens as their boss, employee or neighbour. It seems that almost every other problem in Singapore these days is blamed on the foreigner, from the public transport squeeze to the race for jobs. A study which covered some 5,000 local households suggests that Singaporeans are wary of new immigrants. For example, about 94% of non-Chinese respondents are comfortable with having a Singaporean Chinese as their boss. The figure drops by nearly 20 percentage points when it comes to having a new immigrant from China as a boss. Similarly, 84 Four percent of Chinese, Malay and Eurasian Singaporeans say they're comfortable with an Indian Singaporean as their boss, but only about 74% feel the same when it comes to reporting to a new immigrant from India. Fewer Singaporeans also feel comfortable with having new immigrants as their employees or next-door neighbour. The biggest gap came from Singaporeans' comfort level with having new immigrants making up the majority of people in the country. Only about 50% of respondents are comfortable with that idea, with most preferring the status quo when it comes to Singapore's current racial mix. Participants at a forum on race and religious relations warn of social enclaves based on nationalities forming in Singapore. Only 45% of respondents say they have at least one close friend of another race. Trust in minority races also seems to be an issue. About 63% of non-Chinese think that more than half of Singaporean Chinese can be trusted to help when faced with a national crisis. The figure dips to about 50% when it comes to a Chinese trusting a Malay, Indian or Eurasian. We know that for us to be able to move forward, I think there need to be some form of real action from individuals at the same time from society and community. To be able to identify key uh, actions that can be done, uh, be it uh, allowing for people to uh, knock at their neighbor's door, saying hello to people, uh, making friends at the uh, working place, um, being uh, good friends in schools. Now the study is the first in Singapore to examine issues of race and religion. It's meant to serve as a benchmark to measure the state of race and religious relations here today and in future as a scorecard to examine how far attitudes have changed.